a former U.S. visa officer, and I'm happy to talk to you today about the topic of red flags. So what are red flags? Well, basically these are factors in a visa applicant's background, in their biography, in their DS-160, that the visa officer is gonna be paying more closely attention to. They're gonna be looking at those factors to make sure that this visa applicant really qualifies for the visa. If you have any red flags in your background, you really need to do extra preparation for your visa interview. Think about exactly what it is the visa officer is looking for in the visa interview and how you're gonna qualify for this visa. Some of the red flags that I'm gonna mention today include the following. So if you are working remotely, you're gonna want to definitely be able to speak about when you're in the US, what you're gonna be doing. Are you going to be you know, doing your job full time while you're in the US? Will you just be checking emails? Are you actually on vacation? And, or are you just going for business meetings? Right, so if you're a remote worker full time, is the activity that you're gonna be doing in the US compatible with the tourist or B1, B2 visa class? Also, if you're renewing your visa or you've had a visa in the past, the visa officer has access to your travel history. So if you have had really long stays in the past, you've stayed in the US more than three to four weeks at a time, or if you travel to the US really frequently, like probably more than six or seven or eight times a year, the visa officer, even if those trips are short, the visa officer is still gonna be interested in what you're doing there, why you need to go to the US so frequently. You really wanna be prepared for questions about your travel history and what exactly you've been doing in the US. Other things are more biographical. They could be related to your education history, your age, if you're pretty young, like between the age of 18 and 30. This is kind of prime age for the visa officer to be heavily scrutinizing the ties to your country, whether or not they think you're on a path that is gonna give you stability in your country of residence. Um, they also are gonna be looking at your family background and that includes family in the US. So if you have close family in the US, US, you want to be able to talk about their status, how they got to the US, and why you need to visit them. So all of these factors are things you really want to take into consideration when you're presenting your visa interview. These are things that are going to call the officer's attention and really make them scrutinize your case a little bit more closely. Now, having any of these red flags in your background does not necessarily mean that the visa is not approvable. That's not true. What's true, though, is that you need to be extra prepared. You need to know how to contextualize your red flags, how to shift to focus more on your highlights than on your red flags, and how to answer direct questions about these red flags. You need to understand what the visa officer is looking for and how to present your information in a way that is both truthful and helps the visa officer see that you qualify for the visa class you are applying for. <laughs>